Uh, so this is a quick status update for uh, the interaction design stuff that I was working on this week in the lab. Um, first of all, uh, so basically I added a few more um, uh, points of interaction uh, for the controllers. Basically instead of just uh, going tra uh, translating horizontally, um, you're also able to rotate and scale with the two controllers. So I'll show you how that works. So here, uh, I'm pointing at the, <laughs> I'm pointing at the cube, uh, and as I point at it, uh, it's like I'm casting a ray from my controller out until I hit the cube, and that allows me to click and drag. Uh, when it clicks, it turns red, um, and the click is actuated by the trigger, um, and you can also click and drag with two hands at the same time, and that. All, uh, unlocks the rotation and scaling, basically. Um, another thing you can do is, you, in the middle, the button right here, uh, the grip buttons, they uh, change it so that instead of having your focal point on the surface of the object, or like the um, laser pointer, the things are now on my controller. Right? So now if I click and drag, uh, the object will move sort of as you might expect. Um, if you click and drag with two hands, you get to scale and rotate in a very nice and intuitive way. Hopefully. Um, now, as we saw last time, uh, this is environment. Uh, you can, over here on this component, uh, you can identify what your subject is. So right now I have the subject being that particular cube. But I'm going to change the subject to be the environment. And then when I throw that in, uh, instead of clicking and dragging and moving the cube around, I'm going to be clicking and dragging and moving the environment around. If I can get tracking again. Here we go. So then if I use two hands, I can do the same crazy stuff. I can rotate, scale. Uh, I can make it really small. And then also, again, if I bring these local instead, then that gives me the ability to uh, move this environment around like this, or with two hands, move it around like this. Um, as you might imagine, though, this gets really weird uh, because if I bring that back down onto the ground and scale it up, oops, this, and then I start rotating it like this, it gets really sick inducing. So <laughs> I have to figure out how to do this in a less gross way. Um, I wonder if, like, when it gets this large, it gets clamped so that it can only rotate in the um, in one of these axes. Because I do want to give the user the ability to scale um, without uh, without rotating if they want to, uh, and this seems to be the best way to do that. So that's all. Oh, and I guess lastly, to note, all this stuff is um, componentized in Unity, so it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm going to try to upload my code on this pretty soon. Thanks. Bye.